This video is uh, on my 2002 Toyota Tundra. Uh, it's a continuing video from the uh, videos previously on shifter problem. And that is that the shifter assembly, uh, the shifter uh, sub-assembly, which holds this onto the steering column, is broken. It's not the shifter that's broken. Again, it's the sub-assembly that's broken. <clears throat> and I've covered this a little bit in some of my other videos. You have to take a look at them and see what's going on. I got the part number there and everything else. Okay, in this video, I'm going to remove this shroud, the plastic covering that covers this steering wheel. Okay, and look at my previous video as to how to get at it. There are two screws that are right behind the steering wheel. You have to turn the steering wheel to the right, now it's locked, to the right and to the left. To the right to get at the right hand screw and to the left to get at the right left hand screw. Okay, so if, then you'll be able to pop this shroud off. And I've already had it off once so I have an advantage in that respect. Just separate them. Might have to use a thin blade slot tip screwdriver to get in there but you can work it up like this of course I have the advantage like I said I already had it apart once you want to be careful you don't want to break the little nubs that lock this thing into place because it'll screw up uh, the look it won't hold the shroud tight so take your time pop it up okay there we go as I said before in the other video, well, let me step back a bit. These, this is the the bossings that capture the screws and hold the shroud together, hold the top shroud together with the bottom shroud. Okay, anyways, this rubber cap doesn't appear to come off. It's, it's, it's a, you can't see it. Let's see here. There we go. It is uh, got fasteners on there that look to be, uh, I don't know, secured on there permanently. Anyways, if we take off this handle, and I don't know how to do that at this point in time, we should be able to slip that rubber cap off. Any okay. Anyways, let's move on. Here. We can get a picture, better picture of what's going on in there. Now, I can see it. You may or may not be able to see it. There is a crack right here. And let's see. What can I get at the point at it? Juggling camera and screwdrivers, yada, yada. It's right here crack is right there so this isn't as bad as uh, some of the guys with some of the other videos where they're going to have to take off their whole st steering wheel uh, drive shaft or shaft in this particular case I can see that the only damage there is a crack and the sub-assembly. That's going to save a lot of work. As I said before, the other uh, fellas had to pull out the, not only pull out the steering wheel, but pull out the uh, steering wheel shaft as well in order to replace not only the sub-assembly, but the assembly that the sub-assembly <laughs> screws into. Anyways, uh, that's a sneak peek. So now you can put it all back together and order your part and still drive the vehicle and I guess you can still drive the vehicle that would be up to you but I still drive the vehicle I'm just I hate to say I'm careful about it I just have developed a, a feel for uh, putting it in the park position anyways that's it for this video have a good one over and out